sometime in November 2021, we started working on this building. And after about two years and some few months, this is how far we've come, having the entire structure up and then also having the roof as well as the decking area. Now, this building was originally a five bedroom house. And after some few changes by the owner, we've had more rooms to it. So the normal floor or the ground floor is now six rooms. And then we also have a basement, which is one room with a living space as well as a kitchen and then a washroom as well. Now, this was actually the building that brought me here to Ashifla. And I must say, it's come really far. We've not been working on it at a very fast pace. We've been working on it at a normal pace so far. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, so in today's video, I'll basically take you through um, some few things we've done with this building. So maybe in case you're also having your building done, you probably can look at some of those things. One of them will have to do with this door here. So this is a room. Originally, there wasn't any door for this room. It was just a window that did overlook the porch from here. Now, we had to introduce this door here, which gives this particular, uh, the occupant of this room access to the house from the porch directly or from the, that, uh, the building itself. And this wasn't a bad idea because in case of any emergency, you have to um, access so or exit way so you could either go through the house or you could either easily just come out from this part and it's not just with this particular room but also the room over here to the left so to have access to the room you could easily use this access so there's be a door there's a doorway so you go through this doorway and then you have access to the room here and then there's also the internal access which is this room that leads all the way, way through the corridors. Now this room is sharing a washroom with the other room over there. So this wasn't originally the plan. So this is some of the changes with it. So there's sort of like a small lobby here where there are doors here, there's a door here, and then this is the washroom for both rooms. So this is the other room that we created. Yes, originally it was an office. So we decided to convert it into um, another bedroom. And there's a new section we um, we are now using as an office for the house. So the other um, doorway we saw leading to that room is actually come, comes all the way through to this corridor. And then from the corridor, you have access to this um, massive living room. Yeah, so I, I may not be able to give sizes of um, the spaces in this video probably maybe i'll put a text on the screen so you see some of the sizes of the various sections within the building now for this living room initially we had um so all this was supposed to be like an entrance with a, a sliding door but uh, the owner requested us for it to 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 make it a just um, a window so this big um space you see is a window it doesn't go all the way down so you don't have access to this living room from the side but instead you have to go through the main corridor which is from the right part of the building also in the living room um, we only had this big um, entrance or door section initially but we've also created a couple of windows so we have a couple of panel windows so we have um, one there, one at the top, another at the top as well. And then to the right also, we also have another panel window. Now the reason for these panel windows was to be able to allow light into the corridors, especially from the living room. So that was the reason for creating those um, panel windows. So there's another doorway here. So in the living room, you have two doorways, one leading to the left um, corridor, and then the rooms on that side, and then one to lead into the right, um, corridor as well as the other rooms here so this is actually the main entrance so if you came from the outside this is the main entrance you are going to use to have access into the um, house so this is the main en entrance of main access this is the, uh, the other room I was talking about 
So once you take a step inside, then you have the living room to your left side. You continue further down, you have a dining room, which I'll take you there shortly. So this is the other room I was talking about. So you notice that I have access to this room from the within the building. And then I also have access from the outer part of the building. And then you have the washroom for this space. And then you come back to this um, area, part of the corridor. And then you have another washroom for guests. Now, this is um, the dining room, which is here. It's a little bit um, dark here. Not so dark, but because the roof was just done yesterday. So usually when roof is done new, the space, some part of the space becomes a bit dark. And then later on, there's light everywhere. So this is the dining room. It was originally from this point all the way to the other point. So the other section is seven as an office um, space or office within the house. And then to this right hand side is the basement I was talking about. So you notice that this section is slightly higher. Ideally, it should have been on the same floor, but this section is higher because we created a basement down there. And um, there are two rooms on top of the basement. So there's one here at the top here. We're also having a washroom in there. And then from here, there's also another um, one here. So yes, this is another room here. So there are still more changes that we're actually doing um, because of the nature of the place. So this room overlooks outside. You see the um, views around, very nice. The other room also has similar views. And then also you have access to look at the back part also. So what we are going to be doing here is sort of like a patio where you have, you step onto it. So that will be created with metal. You be able to step onto it, or let's say maybe a balcony here. So you have access from this room onto it from the back part. And then there's the washroom for this um, bedroom. Now you might also notice that this house has high ceilings, very high ceilings. So I'll take you to another section that has actually uh, more than double uh, yeah, the standard height for ceiling. So we are back to the main corridor. When we continue further, so we just bypass the dining room. To my right is the utility as well as the storeroom. And then this is the kitchen room over here. So the kitchen has access to the store. And then also this also gives access to the utility and then the store room. And then from here we have the um, office. So this is the office area I was talking about. And then when you continue further, this is the, um, when you're facing the building from outside, this is the left side. So there's a left corridor that goes all the way to the living room, the other room, or the two bedrooms over there. And then also this is the family area. So here in the family area, you also notice that We've got two windows actually, panel window at the top, and then you have the normal window, and you can see where the ceiling is going to be. So this is going to be very high ceiling, and the idea is to be able to also allow light into the space as well as into the corridor, yeah, so it doesn't get dark once you're walking during the daytime, yeah. And from here, we have the master bedroom, which is here. And I must say the master bedroom has a couple of interesting things going to happen or going in here. One of it is um, the very high ceiling, which we just saw from the family area. Aside from that also, we have two panel windows. At the top, we have two normal windows. So that's my building you could see from here. And the idea with the panel windows at the top is that we are going to be creating a mezzanine. So sort of like a, a should I say, platform within this room where there's going to be stairs that is going to lead up. So once you're on top, you have access to peep through those windows to see, you know, what's around. Yeah, so being it's daytime or night, you can have a glimpse of what looks, it looks like around. And that is the walk-in closet over there. We are still deciding on what we can do with the top, so we didn't block all the way to the top. So yes, and then from there we have the master um, bathroom or washroom over here. 
So yeah, so that is basically the idea with the master bedroom, what we are looking forward to do so far. And um, back to the building, this time around, let me just go through the kitchen to the back part. So you, you see what it looks like also from here. So also at the back part of the house, there's the kitchen porch. You have views of around the back part of the house. Now, there's some space that was left at the back. Should I, I should say that actually working on this building, we had to be a bit strategic in terms of the way we're going to go about the positioning because um, originally the owner had just one plot here. Now she has two, the next one to it. So looking at the size of the building, we had to strategically position it so that we make way for a small pool that she wants to have at the back of the house, as well as have a sort of like a small garden in front, as well as a section to be able to park cars. So that was, that was what happened when we started working on it. So this is the, the back part of the house. This is what it looks like. I believe you can see this is really high. So also one thing I must say is that if you notice, this was the lentil concrete and then we did the normal blocks. Initially that was where we did stop at and we're hoping that the open roof was going to come. Then the idea of the mezzanine came, which required that we had to raise the entire building up. And in the process of doing so, I also thought that still going with the open roof, which would have been expensive in terms of materials, why not go with a scallion roof? So this is an implementation of the scallion roof where it has two points a step down for this section and then also a step up for that section so we are able to achieve the mezzanine in the master bedroom and then also have very high ceiling within the entire back part of the building so that that was the idea so you notice that we had to introduce a beam another beam aside the lentil beam we had to introduce another beam all around the building and we also did continue with the columns all the way up to be able to still provide strength and stability for the building. So uh, the number of blocks we've used for this house, a lot, yes, and the number of cement also, a lot. So some of these are things I'll probably be able to put them in, in text on the screen. If not now, definitely they will come in a different video. Yeah, so this is what it looks like from the back. Let me just go to the the right side from the back part. So that is my bit over there. So this is the, the right part. So also over here, you notice that you have the building intersecting. That is the back part intersecting with the front part, which we have the half deck um, area. So I'll talk about that also shortly. So now let's go through to the other point where we have the decking or the basement I should say so this is the section that leads to, into the basement I, I have actually logged it in initially we're keeping some materials in there that's how come it was logged but I'll show you what it looks like from the window now let's come here into the window and that's what it looks like so a very good size space here. Yes, this part of the house was holding a lot of water, draining a lot of water out because um, we hadn't done the roofing initially. So it's about seven feet high from the ground. And this is the kitchen area slash living room. So an open concept sort of um, space. And then you have the section that has the stairs which is going to come down here so we're going to be using wooden stairs once um, we are ready to complete this part and then the other section leads into the bedroom which i can show you from here as well so you have the bedroom here and then you have the ensuite um, washroom also attached to it from here so this is the basement it was originally not part of the plan but it became necessary as a result of the slope nature of the land 
if we hadn't introduced the basement, it, mean, it meant that we would have going to be filling all this part all the way to the top with latrite. And in doing so, we, we would have created a lot of beams along the line, and we probably would have also laid the blocks in, in flat to be able to um, be firm. So that is what the basement looks like. So as you can see, the original five bedroom house later became a six bedroom house and now has a basement in addition to it so making it total of seven bedroom and the good thing about the design for this house is that most of the spaces are independent and can be you know rented out in terms of if you are trying to implement airbnb you can do that so with the basement you have a whole space on it so with a basement sections at the top you have spaces like the two bedrooms in front where you have independent doors that lead outside you could have people live there and they would have access into the internal part and and so on so there are lots of things you can actually achieve with this building that is the beauty about the design of it so yes this is really high from where i stand if you look from here all the way to the top you can see it's high now also with the back you notice that we didn't do any carving area for the porch yes so what we'll be doing later once the plaster is done it will be introducing a roof sort of like a hanging roof which is going to be held with like a chain to cover this uh, back part of the house so that you know you can easily sit on the uh, porch and then still not have um, issues with the sunlight or maybe rains yeah depending on the direction of the rain so yes that is what it looks like from the back now i'm going through the the right side if you are facing a building from the front this is the right part of it um so this is the section where the back part of the building meets the front part i don't know i think i didn't show you but maybe i'll show you when i go back in which has to do with the the ceiling height also for the front part so usually people would have done the normal nine cores of block do the lentil beam and do about two cores up before the the beam will come but we did three blocks and then we also have the beam before the decking area itself so it has given the front part also high ceiling so it is not just the back part which is having high ceiling but the front part also is having high ceiling i'm sure people will be asking how are people going to be able to get to the top well what is going to happen is that we're going to have a spiral staircase which is going to start from here all the way through to the top so that is going to be made with metal and also because i'm not going to be able to climb to the roof from this video but if you look at the aerial footage or aerial video you notice that we have some pipes standing in various parts of the decking area so those are drainage pipes because it is a wide space i think the measurement was 30 something by 58 feet yes so that is big and we had to think of how we're going to be able to drain water you couldn't do a sloping all the way to one side that wouldn't have won't it will be sort of impossible in a way so we introduced pipes at various points to be able to drain water so when we get to the stage of tiling we are going to be installing sort of like strip drains to be able to drain water from almost the entire part so we have i think about 10 drains so far at various points and then we've done screening at the top which looks to where the pipes are so those pipes are going to be cut to allow water to drain out whenever it rains so you don't have to worry about water even staying on the top of the the decking or the open terrace also during the decking um, we did apply um, concrete chemicals to it to be able to make it very firm and so you wouldn't have issues with leakages or water leaking through the concrete and then aside from that, during the screening, we did add waterproof cement also to it. We used Dr. Fix It. Um, we added that, uh, powders, numerous of those powders to the um, water that was used for the screening. So let me just show you the ceiling height from this space. So this is the corridor. So there's a corridor. You notice that it has got very decent um, ceiling height, just as the living room. So yes, a high ceiling as well. So I'm sure you will be asking, what's the black thing? So during the decking, we apply this DPM on top to help make the concrete a little bit smooth, not just a rough out. That's how come we have the rubber. And then also, uh, if you look at the back, 
we had the chance to be able to move the ceiling height all the way through to the top. But we thought of not having sort of like an odd space in terms of the ceiling when you come from the outer part. So we decided to bring the ceiling a little bit down to meet this point. So it is just going to flow through if you are not even told that this is how high the ceiling is or you wouldn't even notice. So because there's just going to be one ceiling height throughout. So it goes from all the corridor all the way through to the other section as well. So that is what we did with the um, ceiling. Now, aside from that, let me talk a bit about the decking. So before we got the front part deck or the half decking done, um, you know, usually you have to do the form works, which involve either using woods or metals. And even if you are using metals, you have to even add woods to it. And you have to, ideally, you have to buy those woods. The good thing is that in recent times, there's been some companies or people who have some of these materials that they give out um, or rent for a certain period to be able to have your deck and done. And usually, these companies are easily to come by maybe in the cities, big cities, by places like this, which is outskirts of town. It would be difficult. So we had to do a couple of research in terms of comparing costs, that is um, buying the materials, that is the wood and all that, against if we have to rent. So we noticed that rent would have been a better option. And then also the reason why rent would have been a better option is that this is just a half deck we are doing. We are not going to do a story building where we we'll have to deck the other maybe section and so on. So it meant that if we have to buy the materials after using it, either we have to see or look at being able to sell it to someone, which uh, it depends or we just have it just lying there, which would have been a waste of money because you wouldn't be able to use it again. So we went with the option of um, renting the materials where they have a 21 day period where after they come to do the form works, they would allow you to cast your decking and then allow it 21 days to dry. If you want extra weeks to add to it, you can pay a little extra to that. And we thought that was the best option to go with especially for this. So in case you are looking at having your decking done, these are some of the um, options you can explore. Instead of buying all those wood, yes, people complain a lot about those wood because uh, they have become sort of like necessary effort. You need them, even though they are expensive, you have to buy them and use them for your project. So that was what we did. We went to the option of renting and the guys came. So they we didn't just rent to use our own carpenters, but the guys as part of their packages, they'd have carpenters who would come to do the installation and then also be present at site when the casting was going to be done to correct any challenges we would have encountered. And then after, we'll come and remove those um, um, woods as well. So I think I have, I had a footage of them when doing the decking, when the concrete was being cast. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll share that if, if I do still, I still have that video. So that was what was done and everything went well. After the required number of weeks, they eventually came to take off everything and everything looks really great, I must say. So that is how far we've come with this building in terms of the original design, the tweaks we had to do along the line and the type of roof we've um, done or gone with, as well as the decking in terms of the drainage, what we did with that. And then aside from that, also the option to either rent or buy the wood for the foam works when it's time for you to deck your house. So you can look into that and see which one works with you. Of course, if you are going to be having multiple stories building, uh, then it would be best to buy the wood because you can use them for the different floors. But if it's just one floor, um, it's best to just um, you know go with the option of renting and that would help. So now the roofing has been done. It was just done yesterday and there's still a lot of work to be done on this house we have the piping electrical piping works to be done we have the plumbing um, service line also to be done aside from that we have plastering installing of doors burglar proofs um, screening painting and ceiling works and and a whole lot more and because it's a bigger house, if you are looking at being able to do everything at a go, it will be very expensive. So all you're going to do is we are going to have the code for especially the electrical piping and then also the plumbing works, also the electrical wiring 
and then the other parts and then we we'll basically will break it into various sections maybe do it in four that is basically what we've been done we've been doing so far to get to this point so with the decking we started off um, looking at total cost of it um, looking at how the funds were going to come we broke everything into subsections and then we were able to do it gradually and this is how far we've come with it so this is not your regular building or house you would have seen I'm sure you've seen that uh, this in as much as it's a little uh, it's a bigger building it has some interesting things to it the the design of the roof the rooms also the ceiling height the the decking area with the drains and a whole lot more the basement and all that so in case you are having your building done i'm sure some of these things are things you can explore to see how best you can you know um, have things done to be able to serve a purpose at the end of the day and it's not a small amount of money that has gone into this building i must say and there's also not small materials quantity of materials that has also gone into this uh, building one of the things also we've explored working on this building was being able to get some of the materials on credit which i are things that i personally also used to help me with my project so that is something that has helped we've had a supplier nyamiti as ventures whom has uh, who actually supplied us all the blocks for this building as well as cement and so far we we have you know been working over two years now and we've not had any challenges with um, you know having work done so i think pretty much that should be about it so for the top the decking what we are going to be doing is we're going to be doing um, one course of block all around except for the section that a spiral stair is going to, stairs is going to come and then we are going to be putting um, design blocks and then we are going to do coping at the top so we are going to install columns as various points so you can see that some of the steels that we started from the top still comes out so we are going to be using those relying on that and then we will introduce some i think about three more columns for the sides to be able to hold those blocks very firm and we are going to keep the height of the um, the design blocks around a little bit high not so high but to prevent any accidents from occurring from that someone being able to jump off and, and so on at the top so those are some of the things that you're going to be doing and aside from that also we are going to be so for the top we'll be doing a pergola at the right part of it there's also going to be a small section sort of like a kitchen area where you're able to cook there's also a washroom at the top so in case you're at the top and you have to ease yourself you have um, a washroom over there which is a full washroom so it has the wc as well as a um, shower where you can take your bath as well so in case you want to chill out all the way at the top you're able to do so and then maybe later evening in the evening you come down so this is um some of the things that i would wanted to show you regarding this building i think it's taken a long time um, to show you some of the things because i was waiting for a good point once everything comes into shape then you're able to understand the idea see the vision and better building and some of the endless possibilities it has to offer so and i must say the top section can actually host about uh, if not about 100 people probably can host more than 100 people so in case uh, some time to come this place become a booming place you probably could have it sort of like a small event section where you can have a party at the top there and then you're able to overlook the entire nice views that uh, Shifla offers so that would just be about it for this video thank you very much for watching in case you are new, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. So uh, one, th one thing I should also say is that I think someone was commenting about that regarding some of the uh, things we do, especially after we have completed or once we keep working on the building as doing house, having housekeeping or implementing housekeeping. So you can see that the entire building is cleared from any debris. Yes, this is one thing I... I, I always try as much as possible to enforce and it is good or helps because it prevents accident from occurring at the, the building or construction site. So if you're having people work for you, uh, you should also look at doing some of these things because
it helps and you see it makes the whole place looks very neat you know took a walk inside and you've not come by any blocks or wood line anywhere just like that everything is probably um, or has been collected from inside and it makes the whole place looks clean so that is just by the way and um, i'll see you in the next one